long time no see i just did stay i just finished this scrap hat now i'm starting another one and then i have two more i have two more to do and i'll be done i'll be done i'll be so happy to be done if i do say so myself let me see if i can prop y'all up some more i have these balls of yarn so i have this one and then i'll have this one as well courtesy of my mother and my twin brother put the yarns together for me because if you don't know i injured both of my arms and my hands uh i think it's been about a month ago it's been about a month ago and i'm just now starting to feel a lot better well, I started to feel a lot better. Mm, it was maybe a few weeks ago. But anywho, I took everything offline and put everything is sold out on my website. So I've been trying to finish all the orders that I have left. That way I can get these out to people and I can take me a break like an actual break because I have not taken a break from crocheting and my arms don't hurt as bad my arms and hands don't hurt as bad but they still hurt so I don't feel 100% better and I would like to feel 100% better that would be nice I would like to feel no pain when I do something so I need a break so I have these three left I have two plain bucket hats grab a bucket hats and then I have one more custom one with initials I'm very appreciative because everybody has been so patient with me since I injured my arms and stuff and I really appreciate it because I thought people were gonna be like mm, girl no thank you the processing time for my stuff is already long it's about a month i think it's i think i have it for like 15 to 20 days and so i sent everybody emails being like oh you know uh things are gonna be late or i'm gonna have to like take a break for a few days because my arms hurt too bad to the point where i can't even pick up my phone and everybody was really like, oh, yeah. I think I had maybe three people that were like, um, well, I'll just uh, get a refund and wait till you feel better and order again. But even they were still nice. But everybody, for the most part, was like, I'll wait. And I was like, oh. I was not expecting that, honestly. <laughs> I was not expecting it. Um, but yeah, basically, I injured both of my hands and arms from crocheting. I think it's really from doing the letters on these hats and not only that but tying these together because I've had a lot of orders before but they were do-rags so I think it's the letters those letters I noticed hurt my hands more so I think that's what it was um I was doing too much didn't take a break crocheting non-stop trying to hurry up and get my orders out and I woke up on a Monday and was in pain. And um, I was like, okay, let me take the day off. On that Monday, I was like, let me take the rest of the day off. Because I did some work that morning. But I was like, let me take the rest of the day off. That way, because it's better to take one day off than have to take a week off. So I'm like, okay, let me take a day off. Took, a day, took the rest of that day off, woke up the next day, still had pain, so I was like, okay, let me take the rest of this day off as well. And so I did. Okay, so this is how, this is how the week went. So Thursday through Sunday, I went hard, crocheting nonstop. That Monday, I woke up, 
was in pain. I had to weave in all my ends, put my tags on stuff, send stuff out that Monday morning. Uh, I didn't even take my stuff to the post office. Like, that's how much pain I was in. My stepdad took it. So I took the rest of the day off, didn't do anything. Uh, woke up on that Tuesday, was still in pain. So I was like, well, let me take today off as well. I'll take the whole day off. Uh, because technically that Monday, I only took half the day off. So I was like, that Tuesday, I was like, okay, I'll take the whole day off. So I took the whole day off that Tuesday. I get bored. And because I couldn't do anything, like, I was in so much pain, like, to the point where I couldn't even, like, draw or anything. Like, if I can't crochet, usually I'll draw or something. But I couldn't even draw. Like, that's how much pain I was in. So I was like, okay, I'm bored. So I was like, well, if I can't do anything, let me at least take my dog outside. And he can go run around, and I can look at him run around and be all happy looking. So, I bought for his birthday in March, I bought him a 100 foot leash so he could run around outside. So, I took his uh, leash outside, put it on, put it around the tree, and I got his ball and was kind of throwing it, which I shouldn't have been doing. But, I was doing that anyway. So, I was throwing his ball just a few times. And the last time I threw it, I threw it and I wasn't looking where I was standing. Because it's a long leash, you have to be like paying attention to where you're standing. Because when I threw the ball the last time, he ran after it. His leash wrapped around my foot and I fell to the ground immediately. And I was like, I was like, stop. I feel, no, I don't even think I said stop. I don't think I said anything. I think I just fell. I fell immediately. And I was like, oh my gosh. And luckily, I think he sensed that I was hurt. So he like stopped and sat down. But I undid it from my uh, foot, my leg. Mind you, I had on sweatpants and long socks. I don't know how the, his leash is one of those like, plastic like the wire ones with the plastic around it so it left burn marks on my foot it was so painful it was so painful i thought my foot was gonna fall off like it wouldn't like <laughs> at the moment that's what it felt like but once he stopped it was like okay relax um but it left like i don't know if y'all can see that it left like a scar because it was basically a burn mark and so not only were my arms and my hands hurting, but now my foot was hurting. And it was hurting from like this part of my leg all the way down to like my foot. It hurt so bad. Like it hurt so bad. So I was like, okay, we stayed outside. I stopped on the ball. We stayed outside for a few minutes. And then I was like, okay, let's go inside because I think it was time for him to eat. So we came inside. That Wednesday, um, I felt a little better, but I think I took another day off. I'm not too sure. I don't remember. Thursday, Adonis, no, 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 Wednesday, no, was it Wednesday or Thursday? Either Wednesday or Thursday. I think it was Thursday, though. Oh, no, 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 Wednesday. Okay, so this is Wednesday. Wednesday, I was good that morning. At around 3 o'clock, I know it was around 3 because we had just ate lunch and it was right before my brother was supposed to come home from work. 3 o'clock, I just got the worst, like, allergy attack. I got one of the worst allergy attacks. And um, I just was sneezing. I was sneezing, sneezing, sneezing. It lasted all the way up till I think it was like one o'clock in the morning. I couldn't breathe through either one of my nostrils. It was so bad. It finally had cleared up around one. So I was able to go to sleep. So that Thursday I woke up, not only was my arms and my hands in pain, but my leg was in pain. And then now my back and my head were hurting because my back and my uh, abdomen were hurting. Because I was sneezing so much. And then my head was hurting because sinuses, you know, mucus build up. My leg was hurting because of Adonis. 
in his leash and then my arms and hands were hurting so that Thursday I was like oh my gosh like they don't want me to win they don't want me to they don't want your girl to prosper so that was that Thursday um Friday I felt much better but Friday that's when Adonis was being really bad like he was getting into stuff I think he was mad because he didn't get to go outside like he did on Tuesday so he was like you know if you have a dog you know they're like kids like they throw tantrums and stuff so that Friday he was being super bad and so I was having to like manhandle him because he's a 90 pound dog to me, he looks small, and on to me in ca on camera, he looks small. I know a lot of people when they see him in person, it's like, oh, he's much bigger than I thought. But he is a ninety pound dog, and he weighs more than half of my body weight. So I have to like snatch him up when he's getting into stuff. So he was being really bad, and I was, you know, I not supposed to be doing a whole bunch because my arms and stuff. Right? But I was like, okay, I don't know what was up with my hair. It's like sticking out but um yeah i was like okay so i was having to do that on friday saturday uh saturday was okay i had arm pain and stuff at that point i started to get nerve pain um uh, in my arms and i think it was from like manhandling adonis and not only that but i had tried to sweep because at my house, I do, like, I sweep and I wash dishes. I hadn't... No, at that point, I was still washing dishes. So I had tried to sweep, and it was really painful. And so I had nerve pain at that point. But that night, I don't know what it is. When Adonis was younger, he was scared of, like, thunder and stuff. And then he got older, and he was okay. And then now, all of a sudden, he's, like, scared again. And I don't know if it's because I do... I did notice, like, thunders nowadays are, like, even, like, louder. To the point where it's, like, almost shaking the house. So, um... That Saturday night... I got no sleep. Because he was basically terrified... One thing about me, like, I can't sleep with, I bear, I already am the worst at getting sleep. I already suck at getting sleep. And I can't sleep with light or sound. So, to try to get him to go to sleep, because he wouldn't go to sleep. He was just up breathing hard, panting, getting spit everywhere. So, I'm like, dude, go to sleep. He wouldn't go to sleep. So I had to turn the TV on and I turned it on Avatar The Last Airbender because that's the show I had him watching when he was younger when I was training him how to stay in the room by himself um, so that he wouldn't cry and stuff. It was that in that 70s show. So I turned it on Avatar and um, I had to turn it like my TV usually stays around. What is it on? It usually is around 20 to about 30 depending on like what i'm watching animes for some reason on my tv the volume is lower so i have to turn it up to like 30 but like right now i'm watching a regular tv show vikings and it's on 20. i had the tv on 70. 70 so just imagine how loud that is i had the tv on 70 to try to drown out the like thunder noises It didn't work. <laughs> I got no sleep. Um, I eventually like looked it up online. I got one of my t-shirts that I used to like dry my hair and I put it on him and I covered his ears and put like a rubber band so it would stay. That way that would kind of help drown out the noise as well. And actually that seemed to work. Um, so I did that and it seemed to have worked. But at that point, it was already like five in the morning. That Sunday, he had a vet appointment around 1030, but I rescheduled it to 12 because my job, it was raining and I wasn't about to be taking him outside while it's raining 
let alone thundering like mm -mm. so he can be scared in the car no way so i ended up taking him around it's either 11 30 or 12 and oh, this made me so mad i got to the vet and he, uh i'm thinking like oh you know he's got to get his shots and stuff like it's that time of the year so I'm expecting to spend buku's amount of money because if you have a, a dog or a pet, you know that they are not cheap. So I'm like, okay, I expect to spend a lot of money today. Got there and she's like, he's, uh, no, the, the guy told me, he was like, he's all checked out. Uh, he's all up to date on all his shots and stuff. He doesn't need them till October. And I was like, what? I was like, Okay. So we went back to the, we went to where the vet was and she was like, well, he's all caught up on his shots and stuff. So we're just going to check his ears and stuff and uh, renew him for his flea medicine. And somehow the, somehow it was brought up that you can get like the flea medicine for up to a year. And I told her, I was like, so you can get the flea medicine up to a year? And she was like, yeah. I was like, nobody ever told me this. I said, because I think last time I asked, they told me I couldn't do that. I would have to bring him in every six months to do a checkup if I wanted to get his flea medicine. They told me I couldn't do it up to a year. And she was like, no, you can. She was like, usually we say that to people with puppies because, you know, they want to check on the puppies and she was like but he's four and I was like yeah exactly he's four he hasn't been a puppy in a long time so I'm like so I, I was mad so I had to I'm like I went through all that this morning and last night getting up early to get him ready to go to the vet when he didn't even need to come with me I could have just went there myself and uh got his medicine because he doesn't like car rides either. Not only that, but it's a 30 minute car ride to the vet. So I'm like mad because I'm like, I'm in pain having to bring his big old self up here. And he didn't even need to be here. And not only that, but he didn't even need to be in the car. So I'm like, Adonis is half lab and labs shed a lot. So I have all this hair in my car and I still haven't vacuumed it. Luckily, I don't I haven't been going anywhere, but I still haven't vacuumed my car. But I'm like, my, my arms and stuff hurt. Like, it's going to be hard to vacuum my car when my arms and stuff are in pain at the moment. So I'm like, I went and did all this and it was basically for no reason. So that made me mad. So that was that Sunday. Regardless, that Monday, I got up. I was in pain. Again, my nerve pain was, like, worse. But I did start to feel better. Um, so, I think I felt better for maybe two days. And I was like, okay, I think I'm getting better. And then all of a sudden, I was in pain again. At this point, I don't know what days was which. But at some point, I was in pain again, and it was almost like I had backtracked. So I was like, nah. I was like, oh my gosh. And not only that, I hadn't, I wasn't sleeping good. So my neck and my shoulder were hurting. And my mom was like, well, your nerve pain might be from your neck and your shoulder hurting because you said you had been sleeping good. And I was like, yeah. And she was trying to tell me that I should go to um, the chiropractor. But I am terrified to go to the chiropractor. So I was like, no, I'm not going to the chiropractor. Like, I, I won't do it. And she was like, well, what about going to get a massage? So I'm like, oh, okay. I was like, okay, I'll do a massage. So she scheduled me to an appointment literally that same day and like it wasn't even an hour and so I didn't even eat breakfast I as soon as she got off the phone with making my appointment I got my stuff together got my keys 
and went to my appointment to get a massage but it wasn't like a relaxation massage it was a um therapeutic massage so they were focused on my arms my shoulders and my neck and my back y'all i my job i've never gotten a massage before in my life i've never had a massage before only type of massage i've ever had was uh like facial massages because yeah i've gone to the esthetician and stuff when i tell y'all that lady was trying to kill me i said oh my gosh i told, I told my mom i said she started off real light she did a little something in my head and then she did uh my shoulders and my neck and then all of a sudden you just felt boom i swear it felt like she tackled me like we were playing football or something you just feel her elbow go boom and like into my shoulder and i'm like bro what the heck and then she got to my arms oh, oh my gosh i'm telling y'all this massage is so painful she got to my arms and at the time my left arm was hurting more because my pain would switch on the arm because if this arm was hurting more i would do more things with this arm so then the next day this arm would hurt more and then it would just you know it would just switch so at the moment my left arm was hurting more and it was hurting like right in here literally she got to right here i was like ow and she was like yeah um she was like i can feel like i guess like a knot or something and i was like yeah it hurts i kid you not i said yeah it hurts she said boom i said whoa i said whoa and then she got to my my uh first of all she did cupping too it was my first time doing cupping cupping wasn't that bad but when she got to like my uh shoulders because it was on my left side which is where I had the nerve pain it was mostly on my left side so she got to my shoulders and she was like oh yeah I can feel the knot here I was like yeah that's the side of my shoulder that hurts I kid you not it felt like she took her elbow and was like boom and was like digging in there and I was like bro why is this lady trying to take me out I am not a huge girl like she wasn't a huge lady either but I was like, bro, relax. Like, I told you it hurts, and you're going ham. <laughs> so then, uh, it was so funny. And then, like, you can you could feel, like, when what she was using. So you could feel when she was using her elbow. You could feel when she was using her hands. You could feel when she was using her knuckle. She got to doing my back. And I kid y'all not, it felt like she took one of those, like, rollers that you roll, like, pasta dough out with or, like, to make pizza dough. It felt like she took one of those rollers, that, but, like, a metal one and just rolled my back. I, it was so funny. Like, I wish I would have came on here and explained it the day it happened because I would have been more, like, animated with how I was with the store because it just happened but it's been like almost a month since it's happened but i kid y'all not it was like i was like that lady was trying to take me out it was just so funny to me it hurt so bad but in the end though when i uh when she finished i feel a lot better and i went home like a lot of my internal pain i realized was like gone i still had a little bit of nerve pain but it was just right here and it wasn't like continuous like it had been it was just like i don't know how to explain it it was like if somebody did this like every two hours or every hour it was just like but it was like nerve pain um so after i got the massage um she was like how do you feel i was like oh yeah i actually feel better uh you know of course they tell you drink a lot of water i have been drinking a lot of water anyway uh drinking a lot of water that uh a lot of the pain was more like to the touch at that point because of the massage i told my mom i was like 
yeah, I don't feel pain anymore, like internal pain anymore because all the pain is on the outside <laughs> because <laughs> she was hurting me so bad. But um, that next day, I had a, like a breakdown because I was still in pain. And well, I don't know if it was the next day or maybe two days later, actually. It might have been two days later because I was like, I don't want to have to go to the chiropractor. My mom was like, you don't have to go to the chiropractor. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do. So I was like, okay. She was like, you just got the massage. Like, give it a few more days. It's literally, I think it was two days. She was like, yeah, it's only been two days. Like, be so serious. <laughs> so I was like, okay, you know. I kid y'all not, that next day, the day after I was being dramatic and having, like, a panic attack and a breakdown at the same time, that next day, I felt so much better. And I... I honestly can say I don't think I would have felt as good as I felt if I wouldn't have gotten the massage. As painful as the massage was, I don't think I would have felt better as uh, quickly as I did if I wouldn't have gotten the massage. Because that massage helped so much. And um, I was starting to feel better. And yeah, you know... It's been getting better and better. Right now, I'm like at the point where I still have a little bit of pain, but it's not as bad. Also, y'all probably have been seeing me with these copper bracelets. If you know me, you know I'm like a silver girly. So, like, these are probably like out of the ordinary, but they're copper. And copper is supposed to help with like arthritis and inflammation and stuff like that. My stepdad has these like copper rods that he uses for stuff and he made me and my mom bangles he made me two and made her one and honestly they work like before i had my bangles i of course felt better but i still had pain but now i don't really have as much pain like i notice when i forget to put my bangles on so like the other day like my arm was hurting a lot more but i didn't have my bangles on so i honestly feel like these bangles work this one um it looks different let me try to take it off so y'all can see so this is the one my stepdad made it's just round and then this one i got i went to a festival uh was it last weekend I think it was like last weekend i went to the festival and this man and his wife were selling jewelry and i got this copper bracelet and i've been like switching arms so um earlier before i started crocheting this arm was hurting more so i put two on this arm and like if it hurts kind of um uh, bad and like this one's not hurting at all i'll put all three of them on this side so usually i have two on one arm and then one on the other and honestly like i feel like they work i'm i want to buy some more like copper rods and make my own like bracelets kind of like this one so i think that's what i'm gonna do make me and my mom some copper bracelets but yeah i've been wearing my copper bracelets it's been helping I've been stretching my arms and stuff more. Um, luckily, my mom had started doing my dishes. Uh, also, they got some paper plates while I was out of commission. <laughs> got paper plates. She was doing my dishes for me. Um, my stepdad swept a few times. My mom and my twin were putting my ball of yarns together, my scrap yarns, to make the balls um yeah luckily i have people here that were helping me do stuff so that was nice um and then like i said a lot of my like customers the people that bought stuff for me were really really nice and very patient with me and understanding um so i really really appreciate that because i honestly was not expecting it like i thought people were going to be like mad because i'm like I know my processing time is long, but you know, th random things happen. Um, not only that, but I had already like 
and the reason like I was rushing to do my orders was because I was already kind of about to get behind because um my cousin had just died and it was like one of my like super close cousins like I grew up with him and uh he died one week and then the next week we had to go to Houston for his funeral and stuff so I was already not doing as much work between those times because it was you know grieving and stuff but um so that week we came back um I was like trying to pump out orders and then that Thursday through Sunday I was really like okay we're gonna like pump these out I'm gonna get them done and that was a bad mistake because it got me to where I am today but although I hate that it happened I'm glad that it happened because I it made me realize that the way I run my business at the moment is just not it's not healthy for my arms and my hands and I'm gonna have to figure I was like I gotta figure out a different way because the way I was running my business just was not gonna work in the long run so um yeah I I hate that it happened but I'm glad that it happened at the same time also it makes it made me appreciate my arms more or I guess not take them for uh, granted I don't think I ever did, but you know, like you just don't realize stuff until like something happens. So like the whole time I was down, I told my mom, I was like, you know, I've had therapy twice. I'm very open and vocal about it because therapy was something that was, I always tell people like out of all my adult purchases I've ever made, therapy has to be the best one because I realized that week, the first week where when I was hurt, because I couldn't even draw, I couldn't paint, I couldn't crochet, I couldn't do anything. I could barely lift my phone. Like, I couldn't even hold my phone in my hand for more than two minutes without being like, okay, I gotta sit this down. My my hand is literally gonna give in. It made me realize, like, you know, I rely a lot on my happiness. A lot of my happiness comes from doing things, things that I love. And if I'm not able to do them, I realize, like, it made me really down. So, like, that week I felt really depressed. So I was like, mm. but you know, having therapy, like I was like, oh, okay, I'm glad that I'm like self-aware because I realized that about myself. So it made me realize like, okay, Diamond, you know, you got to figure out something different, which is why, I, which is why I'm like, I want to focus more on my YouTube because not only do I feel like YouTube is where I need to focus on anyway, but I can do a lot of my hobbies on here and I don't have to solely focus on just crocheting because I feel like crochet takes up a lot of my time which I love crochet don't get me wrong but I don't like that it takes away from all my other hobbies that I like to do so like I said like painting drawing um I bought I want to learn calligraphy I want to learn how to make jewelry I have all these DIY projects in my mind that I want to do I have some crochet blankets that have been sitting over here in my room for months that I'm like I wanted to make them into something and I haven't been able to do it because I've been doing orders because I always say my orders take priority yeah I think I'm gonna post this on my diary so yeah I'm excited for this new journey I honestly cannot wait but anywho let me get off of here I'm gonna go try to eat lunch I guess oh also an update I've started eating meat again <clears throat> so I've been pescatarian for five years and I never I don't really crave meat like it's not my favorite thing in the world only thing I like, I crave like specific things, but usually if I crave something, it's like seafood. I rarely crave like chicken. Sometimes I crave like fried chicken, but really I just want that crisp that I see people eating on the fried chicken. Not necessarily the chicken itself, mostly like the fried cr chicken crust. <laughs> or like I love ham and I love like um, deer meat. Deer meat is my favorite. I love deer meat. 
but um my mom found some local a local meat company so we've been eating local meat and honestly honestly i feel better since i've started eating meat again so like i would have a lot of bloating <sighs> like i would have a lot of bloating and my bloating is like bad but i noticed since i've been eating meat again I haven't had as much bloating, which is crazy to me. I think my mom said I was lacking, I think, estrogen, which I knew because um, months ago, I told her that I needed to start eating more beans because I was getting PMS migraines. And oh my God, I don't know if y'all have ever had like migraines or even like PMS migraines. I don't know if migraines and PMS migraines feel the same. But at some point, I started getting PMS migraines, and oh my gosh, when I tell you I was down for the count for three days, because it would last three days, and there was nothing that I could do about it, the worst headaches in life, like, even if you blink too hard, your head starts pounding. I remember at one point, I was sitting in my room, like, with the lights off and the window closed which is not normal for me because I open my window no matter what the weather looks like outside. So if I have my window closed, just know I'm not having a good time. <laughs> but I was like, oh my gosh. So I knew I had low estrogen, which is why we incorporated more beans into our diet. But I guess I was still lacking some because I tell you, like, I'm like, what? Also, what is something else? I think those are the mostly the changes that i noticed right now so yeah I, that's what i've noticed since eating meat again um i'm trying to think if anything else happened i did kind of clean my room finally for the first time yesterday um trust me when i say it looked way worse so you're probably thinking diamond it's not that clean trust me it looked way worse i i promise you it looked bad also i gave adonis a bath for the first time and <laughs> Child, I'm not even gonna say how long. It's probably been two months. He gets a bath every month, but it's probably been about two months since since he's had a bath, which sucks because he's had labs, so he sheds a lot, and he likes to roll around in the grass, so you know he dirty. But I couldn't give him a bath because I couldn't clean his his bed. His bed, um, I have to like vacuum it. I couldn't vacuum. I could barely sweep, so I know vacuuming was out of the question. But the other day, I swept, I vacuumed all in the same day. I gave him a bath. I cleaned the shower. Luckily, my brother came in. He he recleaned the shower the next day and then cleaned the whole bathroom, which I really appreciate that. Um, and yeah, so I cleaned him. I put up my stuff I had. So where you can see kind of point to it right here there's two baskets full of clothes imagine that area full like piled up to the top to like here with clothes i couldn't even put up my clothes y'all like that's how terrible it was right now i just have two baskets over there the white basket has like shorts i need to put up my shorts um and then that green basket is like my crochet stuff. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put like my crochet stuff. Because I have no place to put my crochet items that I make. But all that's in that basket. Because I told my mom, I'm like, the only reason I always pile stuff over there is because that green basket basically stays in my room. But if I got it out of my room, I wouldn't be tempted to put stuff over there because there would be no baskets in my room. Um... So yeah, I did that. This, I cleaned off. It was up to here with stuff. My table, it still looks messy, but trust me when I say it looked messier. Um, but it's cleaner. There's pillows in that chair. How do I point? There's pillows in this chair. Those are my old pillows. I got some new pillows because I figured my pillows weren't fluffy enough, which is why my neck and my back and stuff are hurting my uh shoulders so i got new pillows um so my old pillows are in, the, in that chair but i'm gonna keep those pillows because 
when I sit on my bed to like crochet, I usually have them back here and I lay back on them. Or sometimes I'll lay down and crochet like that. Especially since now like my arms are hurting, it feels better if I have my arms out trying to crochet instead of having them like bent. So if I crochet like this, it feels better because my arm is stretched out. But if I have it like this, it hurts more. Um, so I'm gonna keep those pillows, um, but I need to find a place to put them when I don't have them in use instead of having them just sitting in my chair. That or I need to buy like a decorative pillowcase so if they sit in my chair they at least look decent <laughs> or they can go because my bed is a day bed so if I put them on my bed they'll look nice. So I'll probably look for pillowcases that look nice. But yeah, I will see y'all in the next video. I'm going to end it here. I'll see y'all in the next video. And yeah, toodles.